Hey, welcome to Attack the Stack. If you like that, try this. 1986. The year when it all ended. Humanity barely survived. Atom RPG is a post-apocalyptic role-playing game which takes place in the territory of the USSR in an alternative world after a nuclear war. The game was developed and published by the independent studio Atom Team. Atom RPG is clearly and unabashedly inspired by the Wasteland and Fallout series. It takes place in a post-apocalyptic Soviet Union wasteland. In 1986, both the USSR and the Western Bloc were destroyed in mutual nuclear bombings. 19 years have passed and it's 2005. The protagonist is one of the survivors of the nuclear holocaust and an agent of Atom. This remnant of a semi-legitimate military and scientific organization sends him out to explore in search of a special squad which disappeared during the investigation of the mysterious Bunker 317. The wastes are dangerous and filled with gangsters, mutants, stalkers, other survivalists, and there is a shadowy conspiracy aimed at destroying all that is left on Earth. The fallout and wasteland inspiration can be seen in many facets of Atom RPG, including the interface, color scheme, and gameplay mechanics. Published by 2K Games. It takes place 20 years after the events of the first game, XCOM Enemy Unknown, and the developers set the game after the bad ending of that game. XCOM, a military organization trying to fight off an alien invasion, has lost the war and is now a resistance force against the occupation of Earth and the established totalitarian regime and military dictatorship. Gameplay is split between turn-based combat, in which players command a squad of soldiers to fight enemies, and strategy elements in which players manage and control the operations of the Avenger, an alien ship that is used as a mobile base for XCOM. Firaxis added procedural generation of maps and mod support to this game. To encourage players to play more offensively, the developers introduced time-based objectives to boost the game's pacing. Compared with its predecessor, XCOM 2 has more of an emphasis on narrative. Upon release, the game received critical acclaim, with critics praising the new concealment system, which they said adds a new layer of depth, and the procedural generation of maps. The game was also praised for its difficulty and the addition of modding tools. It was nominated for multiple year-end accolades by several gaming publications. Shadowrun Dragonfall Director's Cut is a turn-based tactical role-playing game developed by Harebrained Schemes set in the Shadowrun universe. In this main campaign of the game's first expansion, players assume the role of a Shadowrunner who has recently arrived in the Antarctic Free State of Berlin to join a team headed by an old colleague. While gameplay is mostly linear, some small amount of exploration is possible while completing objectives. The player can enter dialogue with various characters with different statistics and skills giving new dialogue options. The player can also choose for their character to have various etiquettes to add more dialogue options. The higher one's charisma is, the more etiquettes the character can have. Combat is turn-based. All characters can move based on their action points. Characters can gain or lose action points based on abilities, spells, or items used on them. Action points are used on such things as moving, firing a weapon, reloading, or using a spell or item. Phoenix Point is a strategy game featuring a turn-based tactic system that is developed by Bulgaria-based independent developer Snapshot Games. Phoenix Point is intended to be a spiritual successor to the XCOM series that had been originally created by Snapshot Games' head, Julian Gollop. Phoenix Point is set in 2047 on an Earth in the midst of an alien invasion with Lovecraftian horrors on the verge of wiping out humanity. Players start the game in command of a lone base, Phoenix Point, and face a mix of strategic and tactical challenges as they try to save themselves and the rest of humankind from annihilation by alien threat. Between battles, the aliens adapt through accelerated evolutionary mutations to the tactics and technology which players use against them. Meanwhile, multiple factions of humans will pursue their own objectives as they compete with players for limited resources in the apocalyptic world. How players resolve these challenges can result in different endings to the game. The Divine is dead. Have you forgotten? Divinity Original Sin 2 is a role-playing game developed and published by Larian Studios. As with Divinity Original Sin, players can play solo or with up to three players in their party. Several pre-made characters with backstories are available to the player, but players can also create their own custom characters and choose their stats, race, gender, and origin story at the start of the game. Unlike the original game, players are given the possibility to create an undead character of one of the available races. They can recruit up to three companions to assist them. Companions in your party are fully playable and will potentially have different interactions with the environment and NPCs than the player character. Players are able to split up and individually control their party members, leading to potentially complex battle tactics and role-playing opportunities. 
The game features both online and local multiplayer modes, both competitive and cooperative. A skill crafting system allows players to mix and change their skills. In the competitive multiplayer mode, players are divided into two different teams and fight against each other in an arena map. Critics cited Divinity Original Sin 2 as one of the best role-playing games of all time, with praise given to its combat complexity and interactivity. Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden is a turn-based tactical role-playing game developed by Swedish studio The Bearded Ladies and published by Funcom, and based on the tabletop role-playing game Mutant Year Zero. The game is described by publisher Funcom as a tactical adventure game played from an isometric perspective, and it features a branching story. Players control a party of three characters as they navigate the game's world. There are five characters for players to choose from, including the three default characters and two recruitable ones. Each character has their own passive, minor, and major mutation attacks that can be activated and customized. Gameplay alternates between turn-based tactics combat and real-time exploration. The Zone is a series of interconnected maps that players can freely explore. In the Zone, players could collect different artifacts, scraps, and weapon parts, which can be used to purchase new gears and tools in the Ark, the game's hub world. In real time, players can split up the party and guide them in different tactical positions to stage an ambush. Once players enter combat, the game shifts to a turn-based mode, similar to Firaxis' XCOM series. Players can also kill an enemy stealthily. Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire is a role-playing game that is played from an isometric perspective developed by Obsidian Entertainment and published by Versus Evil. Deadfire is a direct sequel to Pillars of Eternity, taking place in the world of Eora. The story begins five years after the events of the first game. As with the first game, the player assumes the role of a Watcher, a character with the ability to look into other people's souls and read their memories, as well as the ones of their past lives. Both returning companions from the original game and new companions are available, depending upon the choices made by the player. Deadfire focuses on seafaring and island exploration via a ship, and crews can also be hired to look over them and assist in ship combat. Class-based gameplay returns, but this time with the new feature of each class having at least four optional subclasses with unique skills. Okay, cupcakes. Listen up! Gears Tactics is a turn-based tactics game developed by Splash Damage in conjunction with The Coalition and published by Xbox Game Studios. It is a spin-off of the Gears of War franchise and a prequel to the first game. The game is played from a top-down perspective on which players issue commands to a squad of human soldiers to eliminate the hostiles in a map and, depending on the mission, complete secondary objectives. In addition to the main campaign, players can also complete different side missions. Players can freely explore the map without being confined to a grid. Each character can perform three actions, such as taking cover, shooting enemies, or remain in Overwatch to shoot any moving enemy in their line of sight. The game has five distinct character classes, with each having its own unique abilities. The characters can be extensively customized with mods, armors, and they can acquire new skills after they level up. Other than story-important hero characters, other friendly units are procedurally generated, and should these units die in combat, their deaths will be permanent. Pathfinder Kingmaker is an isometric role-playing game developed by Russian studio Alcat Games and published by Deep Silver, based on Paizo Publishing's Pathfinder franchise. The gameplay is modeled on the Pathfinder role-playing game and inspired by classic computer RPGs such as Baldur's Gate and Neverwinter Nights. It features a real-time with pause or turn-based combat system. One of the game's distinguishing features is its emphasis on realm building, with the player's decisions as a local lord affecting the rest of the gameplay as they are embroiled in a world of political intrigue and adventure. Character customization is a key feature, along with an alignment system where a character's alignment can change due to player choice. While the player begins with only one character of their creation, the game is party-based as companions join them along the way. These include both established Pathfinder characters and newly invented characters. The game is estimated to last between a whopping 80 to 140 hours. So role play away. In the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence Phantom Doctrine is a strategic turn-based espionage thriller game developed by Polish studio Creative Forge Games and published by Good Shepherd Entertainment. The game tries to capture the subtle intrigue of classic spy films while thrusting the player into a mysterious world of covert operations, counterintelligence, conspiracy, and paranoia. Set in 1983, Phantom Doctrine takes place in an alternative Cold War where brainwashing is a real danger and a global conspiracy controls the world. The player takes on the role of a former CIA, KGB, or Mossad agent, and leads a secret organization known as the Cabal. 
By carrying out secret missions, investigating classified files, and interrogating enemy agents, a sinister plot is uncovered that will eventually lead into a counter-conspiracy to stop the group known as Beholder Initiative. The game is divided between global strategy management elements utilizing the base and world map screens, intel investigation, and tactical missions. There is also extended playthrough mode unlocked after beating the game, where the player will learn more about what happened behind the scenes. If you liked the video or it helped you out, click the thumbs up button below. It really helps us out. If you think it could help others, share it. Of course, subscribe for more content like this and more. And if you have anything to add to our list, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching and keep attacking.